Jerry's an adventurer. He gets antsy. He likes to do things. He likes to go places. He's traveled all of his life and he loves boats. So I think it was Jerry was the force behind it all, not me. Because I don't think we're the sort of people that want to sit on the couch for the rest of our lives and watch television. You know, there's so many things you'd like to do, but some of them become a little impractical as you get a little older. And this is something um, that you can have fun doing. It's not too strenuous, but, um, you know, it requires day-to-day -day energies to be expended, maintenance, right? It's wide and deep. That, that you get to see everything. You know, you get to learn the lay of the land. You get to, to meet the people and to um, absorb yourself into the local community a little bit as you go by. And, and it's always fascinating. I mean, you hear about a particular town, you know, whatever it is, St. Augustine, Jacksonville, and it's just a name. And you might know a little bit about it, but boy, when you leave, when you come through in a boat and you stop and you spend days, you know a lot more about it when you leave and you have much more of an appreciation for what's going on in the country. Uh, it is. Everybody is different on the loop because they came from a different part of the country. And yet you, um, you get to a, a new appreciation and who they are and what they are, all the way from people just putting around in little beat up boats and trying to save pennies here and there by never going into a marina, all the way to retired doctors in big fancy boats. And everybody gets together on an equal footing, um, have dinner together, uh, party together, and um, it's, it's just quite a remarkable experience. Um, I suppose it's a little bit like people who buy RVs and go traveling around the country. You know, we just happen to be doing it by boat. And it's uh, slow. Uh, it takes a long time to cover small amounts of uh, territory. But, um, but you can see it's just beautiful. You know, the houses that you see as you're going by and all the, the parks and, uh, as Joanne said, the wildlife is quite remarkable. Because of the nature of the loop, you're traveling with the warm weather all the time. Um, you know, summer, summertime in Canada, wintertime in Florida. Um, so you're always experiencing the best weather that each area has to offer. You're never seeing Fort Myers when it's 120 degrees. So you think as you pull into each Florida City one after another you think this is really nice I could live here this is great but you forget that it's going to be 40 degrees hotter sometime and a lot more humid and maybe we'll become as a result of this trip maybe we'll become what they call snowbirds you know heading south um, every winter into Georgia South Carolina Florida for the winter and then heading back up in the summertime back to your home base where your house is. Thank you.